हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज प्रियंका एंड आई एम योर डिजिटल टीचर सो टुडे आई एम हियर टू स्टार्ट विद द सेकंड चैप्टर ऑफ ज्योग्राफी दैट इज लैटिट्यूड्स एंड लॉन्गिट्यूड्स गेट द बॉल रोलिंग द ज्योग्राफिक ग्रेड इंपॉर्टेंट पैरल्स ऑफ लैटिट्यूड लॉन्गिट्यूड्स इंटरनेशनल डेट लाइन लैटिट्यूड्स क्लाइमेटिक और हीट जोन्स ऑफ द अर्थ प्राइम मेरिडियन जोग्राफिकल टर्म्स पैरल ऑफ लैटिट्यूड अ सेट ऑफ इमेजिनरी सर्कुलर लाइन ड्रॉन हॉरिजोंटली बिटवीन द टू पोल्स ऑफ पैरल टू द इक्वेटर मेरिडियन ऑफ लॉन्गिट्यूड अ सेट ऑफ इमेजिनरी सर्कुलर लाइन्स ड्रॉन वर्टिकली फ्रॉम द नॉर्थ पोल to the south pole equator an imaginary circular line drawn around the earth dividing in two equal halves called hemispheres latitude the angular distance of the place north or south of the equator measured in degrees from the center of the earth longitude the angular distance of a place east or west of the Prime meridian measured in degrees. Prime meridian, the zero degree longitude that passes through the British Royal Observatory at Greenwich near London. The geographical grid. There are two fixed points on the Earth, the North Pole and the South Pole. Using these two as basic reference points two sets of imaginary circles are drawn around the globe to help us to locate a place on it these are parallels of latitude meridians of longitude the equator and the smaller circles drawn parallel to the equator in the northern and the southern hemisphere are called parallel lines of latitude the semicircles which join the north pole to the south pole and also cut the parallel of latitude at right angle are called meridians of longitude or the meridians these are used to locate a place on the map or a globe latitudes the latitude is the angular distance of a place north or south of the equator as measured from the center of the earth all latitudes are drawn parallel to the equator and seen from west to east as these lines are parallel to the equator they are called parallel of latitudes important parallels of latitude the important parallels of latitude help to differentiate the temperature zones on the earth they are as and up. the tropic of cancer is at an angular distance of 23 and half degree north from the equator the tropic of capricorn is at an angular distance of 23 and half degree south from the equator the arctic circle is at an angular distance of 66 and half degree north from the equator the antarctic circle is at an angular distance of 66 and half degree south from the equator the parallels or the lines of latitude have the following characteristics first all parallels are complete circle except 90 degree north and 90 degree south which are points the equator is the largest parallel the length of the other parallels decrease as one moves away from the equator towards the poles all parallels are located at an equal distance from each other the distance between any two parallels at an interval of 1 degree on the surface of the earth is about 111 km the equator is the only great circle while the other parallels are all small circles so children it's time for brainstorm 
On an outline map of India, locate the city you live in. Note its latitude and find out how far it is from the Tropic of Cancer. Let's connect to geography. The tropics and the farthest northerly and the southerly latitudes are the places where the sun is at one time of the year directly overhead at noon. Climatic or heat zones of the earth. All parts of the earth do not receive equal amount of heat from the sun. So they have different climates. On the basis of above mentioned important latitudes, the whole earth is divided into three heat zones. The first one is the hot or the torrid zone. It lies between the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. This area received maximum heat and is the hottest zone of the world. The second one is the moderate or the temperate zone. The north temperate zone lies between the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle in the northern hemisphere. The south temperature zone lies between the Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle in the southern hemisphere. Slanting rays of the sun fall on these regions throughout the year. Third one is frigid zone. The two frigid zones, north frigid zone and south frigid zone or polar regions experience the midnight sun and the polar night for part of the year. Longitudes. A longitude is the angular distance of a place east or west of the prime meridian. Every line of longitude must cross the equator. Since the equator is a circle, we can divide it like any circle into 360 degrees and the longitude of a point is the marked value of that division where its lines meet the equator. What that value is depends of course on where we begin to count or where the zero longitude is. The line of longitude is also called a meridian, prime meridian. To zero degree longitude which passes through Greenwich in England is known as the prime meridian. The line opposite to zero degree is 180 degree longitude. These two lines are not denoted by E or W that is east or west other than these two lines all the other longitudes are marked E for Eastern Hemisphere and W for Western Hemisphere. Longitude and Time How much time does the Earth take to move or rotate from one longitude to the next longitude? We know that the Earth takes 24 hours to complete one round of an angle of 360 degree or of 360 longitude. Thus, to move one longitude, it will take 140 oblique 360 minutes or just 4 minutes. First, local time. All places along a particular longitude have the same time. This is called the local time of the meridian. Greenwich Mean Time, it would be 12 noon at all places on a given longitude when the sun is overhead. Second, standard time. Generally, more than one meridian pass through a country with a wide land area. Instead of using the local meridian, the clock in different location within the time zones are made to follow one time. This time is called the standard time. Historically, this helped in the process of weather forecasting and train travel. Connect to geography. Russia which spread over 170 degree has 9 time zones. The USA has 4 time zones on the mainland and Canada has 5 time zones. Simply saying every country chooses a central meridian whose local time is accepted across the entire country. The time of the 
chosen meridian is called the standard time indian standard time in india the longitude of 82 degree 30 minutes east passing through allahabad is considered the standard meridian when it is noon on this longitude the time is taken as noon for the whole country international date line the international date line that is idl runs along 180 degree longitude it is an imaginary line on the surface of the earth that runs from the north pole to the south pole and establishes one calendar day from the next it passes through the middle of the pacific ocean roughly following the 180 degree longitude but it deviates to pass around some territories and island groups now children you can see the picture of international date line so let's move to the next summary of parallels of latitude and meridians of longitude first both longitude and latitude are imaginary lines drawn on the globe or the world map second the horizontal or the east west set of lines on the globe are called parallel of latitudes third the vertical or north south lines are called the meridians of longitude fourth any place on the earth can be located with the help of these lines fifth in drawing these imaginary lines we use the north pole and the south pole as two basic points of references on the surface of the earth sixth there are 180 parallels of latitude and 360 meridians of longitude so children let's wrap up there are two fixed points on the earth the north pole and the south pole the latitude is the angular distance of a place north or south of the equator as measured from the center of the earth the three heat zones are torrid zone temperate zone and frigid zone the longitude is the angular distance of a place east or west of the prime meridian prime meridian is the longitude passing through the greenwich observatory in between to help avoid confusion between places the standard of time was established the earth takes 4 minutes to move one longitude indian standard time ist is 5 and 1/2 hours ahead greenwich mean time gmt so students it's time to take your leave so we'll meet in the next class bye